Hello, everybody, and welcome to what I think is episode number 25 of Roleplay Barbarona. I think that's the number. We're back. Hi, everybody. Max, I'm so glad to see you. You you vanished on me yesterday during Court of Swords. I was worried about you. You turned into an empty chair. Yeah. I'm glad to see you have not a... been buried. You've not been buried under snow. How are things in Chicago? First and foremost, is Berg dead or like, did he? Oh. Yeah, I got a lot of I got a lot to catch you up on. We'll talk about this after the episode. There's okay. some some things have happened. <laughs> um, yeah, it's good to see you too. It's also better to hear you. Ha <laughs> ha! Mm. Ear update: It's no longer clogged. Don't know if anyone here knows what I'm talking about. Let's just go to someone else. Let's. Why do we? Why do we even go to me when, I, when we talk about <laughs> those this? are your those are your updates? <laughs> You're no longer clogged. My ear, so yeah, no, I, I no can hear on top everything. I've listen. As a broadcast, first of all, just as a person, it's annoying to have your your ear like impacted and you can't hear anything. It fucks with you way more than than you'd think it would. This is like the third time this has happened to me because I just produce a lot of wax. Sorry, this is gross. Whatever, it's a part of life. Get your ears cleaned, or you'll have to go to the doctor, like Max, and be uh, have it uncomfortable. But the thing yet, that happens after they another, push it out, what's yeah. up? I was gonna say yet another another thing to add to our list of don't be like Max. Just put it on the God, list, it. kids. I know you're keeping yep. it up. Put that one on the yep. bottom. I suffer. Yeah. So but you're feeling better. You guys shall not. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling better. And I hear everything. The, if I had to put it in, in audio terms for when you get your ears like flushed out like that, they crank up the fucking treble knob, turn down the bass knob a, a bit, and crank up that gain just a little bit. So you got like extra gain, gain going on. You just hear nothing but treble. Anyways, hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm glad to hear you're feeling better. <laughs> Waxy Mexican. My my favorite thing is whenever we do these these intros and we talk about like what's going on in my life is just watching Anne's facial reactions to whatever I'm saying because it's always like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You could do you could do a pretty good master cut of Anne reaction faces, and most of them would just be like, I don't understand and I disapprove. I'm not yeah. interested in knowing anymore. That's it. Just yeah. a shake oh, and a, like a slight nod. Like, yeah. 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 I think that's fair. Uh, that's okay. Game wise, I played Apex Legends a little bit. I stuck at that yeah, game. Okay, I'm so better. I was, I was doing, I was doing prep stuff before Quarter Swords yesterday when people were talking about Apex Legends. Can you, what, what, the, what is this? What is it? Is it, it's a Titanfall thing? Is it not a Titanfall? What yeah, is like, what it is operates the in the same world as Titanfall. There's guns from Titanfall that are in it, like the Hemlock and the Spitfire and things like that. Okay. Uh, but they're not actually like, they did like a brief lore thing in the beginning. There's like a video. I didn't pay attention to it too much, but yeah, sure. it's like after Titanfall stuff happened. I don't know. These are legends, right? If you combined mm -hmm. like kind of the hero system in Overwatch and applied that to uh, Call of Duty BR kind of uh, gunplay sort of aspect to it, it works yeah, really it? well. Honestly, it, there's a lot of quality of life stuff that that JP mentioned too yesterday when we were playing a little bit. That this that they you can tell that respawn was like just watching other BRs and seeing like how can we make that less annoying like just being able to have a jump master that controls where people go if they submit to that you know I mean they can break off whenever they want and do their own thing as mm. dropping as a squad oh, but oh but like somebody yeah, can so, pick. but but if you want you can just be in tight like three formation and do that that is great to like little voice things like your character if if you're playing us playing as the robot and it'll be like hey we're pretty spread we're pretty spread out. Do you see the map? It's like stuff that your character just says already to kind of like remind you like, hey, maybe we should fucking, you know, get back together because you guys are just looting like assholes away from everyone. It's a little quality of life stuff like that. I think it's probably the best part of it. And then, of course, just the map is really, really pretty. And I love having no fall damage because 
all and, damage is and so it's, and I don't it's, set, it. it's set it's set in the like titanfall whatever the greater cinematic titanfall universe but there's no there's no giant robots in it right it's not like correct not yeah. yet okay. there are giant dinosaur looking fucking alien things walking in the water off map that i hope one day they just bring in to like fuck up the map and stomp around in it but yeah i think they went on record saying that you know they have plans to bring in like you know some titanfall stuff which could be mechs and things in the future this is I, me I love Titan. Along. i love titanfall i like i like I the single player i like i like the multiplayer i think it's real tight is it the same engine as titanfall because th- that's I yes. feel like there's a, a kinetic like feeling to Titanfall that I really enjoyed. So yes, cool. that same feeling is still there. You can't wall run, which I'm okay with because I feel like that would be annoying to have gunfights with wall running, as evidenced by whatever Call of Duty did that. Um, yeah. yeah, but other than that, it's it's good. I'm all about new entries into BR. I know everybody has BR fatigue, and it's like trendy to talk about oh, another BR. Like yes, you've had another single player game forever. It's it's another genre. Get over it. You don't want it? Don't play it. It's free also. You don't even have to bitch about paying money for it. And is it? That's it's just like I out? Say. Like you can just you can just go and play out. it right now? Just out. Interesting. Yep. You hmm. download it off of Origin. It um, is it available on Steam and stuff too, or is it just exclusively through Origin? Probably because Probably. it's yeah. I think I think Titanfall was Origin exclusive, at least oh. for a while. So. That's main. That's that's what I've seen Main people's main go-to. Like, I want to bitch about it. Is like, but it's EA. We shouldn't support them. It's free, dude. Like, like just because you don't want to, like, don't just because you don't like the, the, the business practices of a publisher doesn't mean you need to make the developers that are out there kick, like, you know, yeah. working hard on games suffer. Yeah. Like, that's, I feel like that's the distinction that people don't understand. Yeah, Respawn makes some good games. They just happen to be published by EA. So, you yeah. know, and those guys. I mean, I think, I, think to a, I think to a degree, like saying it like they just happen to be published doesn't, I mean, they chose to be. Um, yeah, but it's true. not like they have a lot of options, right? Like it's yeah, it's not as if they true. have a ton of control over that. So yeah, yeah, on the one hand, like yeah, I mean you can choose to be like yeah, their business practices suck. I'm not going to buy or play their games. I think that's always a valid move if you don't like it. But also like for devs, on the other hand, it's like well, what else are you going to do? Like they have all this marketing money and they can get your game out there. So it's like, man, I do not ever want to make games ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I just that's it. I I I don't want to be part of that world. I'll just play them cool it's too much yeah and someone's saying like how else are we supposed to vote with your money you can if you want to but the thing is this game's free so you're not voting with your money anyways you're, you're voting with your time i guess and attention but yeah me it's like i understand that a lot of these game developers don't they have to kind of play they have to be a part of that kind of like system right that you, they have to have a publisher that helps you know support them monetarily and resource wise and all that stuff they have to do that because otherwise they can't make the games that they want to it sucks but that's the reality of the games industry and just because yeah. a developer makes some concessions and works with a you know a publishing company that maybe hasn't made the best you know moves in the past or as, as of late doesn't mean that i'm all of a sudden going to just blacklist their game and be like fuck that i hate that so much like I'm yeah, just, it's it's, I think that's a little silly to 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 not judge the games and the developers on their own. Uh, obviously, if you just really don't like, don't do it. Then yeah, totally. Think, but then don't go bitching yeah. at people because they're playing it. Like, I think to make a successful game, sometimes you have to make a deal with the devil, and I think publishers are the devil. So that's sometimes you just sometimes you just gotta sell your soul for a hot minute to get your game out there. Uh, mm. And you were playing, you were playing Apex. I keep want to call it Apex Predator. You were playing that last night, right? Yeah. How are you finding it? Were you did you enjoy it? Are you digging yeah. it? Yeah, I like it a lot. Well, yeah, um, you're I, a good time. I agree with most of what Max is saying, or it's like it's a free to play game, which is pretty sick. Um, I like that it's um squad based. I know a lot of people were like, there should be solos, but kind of the point of it is that they're I, I really like the respawn mechanic. I think that that is mm-hmm. really yeah. interesting too. Um, where you can actually like bring your teammates back, which is really nice and helps with the kind of the the lethargy that I get playing PUBG where I spend 20 minutes looting and then I die to like one encounter. Um, and then you have to go back to the lobby, re wait in that stupid like island where everyone's punching each other and then like do the same 20 minutes of looting again just to die to one encounter is frustrating. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Max. It sounds like it sounds like early Court of Swords. You spend like two hours making a character, and you have five minutes into the episode, and you're dead. You got to make a new character again. Sure does. I guess JP would, JP would be the expert on that one, not so much you. <laughs> um, so the uh, pacing I, is I, better I, for you. You find? Yeah, 
Yeah, and I said most of because I honestly wasn't listening to like a lot of what you were saying. I figured so. it was probably just a qualifier, just in case I said something that yeah. you know to go on record. Just for like, I don't agree with everything necessarily. Yeah. In my head, I was like, most of eh? <laughs> <laughs> but I had a feeling it was probably that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's. Yeah. I like. Hold on, I like that the mitigating thing that Ann just said was I said most of because I wasn't listening to most of what you said. Like that that somehow slipped under the radar where Max was like, Yeah, that's nope, what I thought. Okay. That's fine. But Emma's okay. like that's totally fine. I only agreed with part of what I heard because I wasn't nope. listening, because I was totally thinking okay. about other stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Ann, and I saw I saw a kick ass picture of, of you on Twitter today. What is that about? It's rad. Where did that come from? Yeah, so the Rainbow Six team actually did, they're doing a series of videos and like kind of profiles on people in the community for Rainbow Six and people like players, Mm -hmm. um, like pro players, uh, streamers, content creators, developers, that kind of stuff. And they're doing like this whole series on, I think there's like nine, it's like nine or 12 people, I can't remember. And um, they did those like portraits, which I posted on like Twitter and stuff. And then they're doing, they did like a whole video series as well. So they did the whole interview with me and with a bunch of other, uh, bunch of other people related to Rainbow Six Siege for the invitationals that I, they did like a teaser video that they already posted. Um, but then they're going to like have individual interview videos for everyone. Um, which is, is really cool. It's, it's a cool thing to like be involved with. It's awesome when like, as a person who like really genuinely loves video games, when you pour your heart and soul into one game, and then mm. to get the recognition from the developers, like, you know, we want to showcase you as a person in this community. That is like a huge honor to me. So I'm really excited. Yeah. It's been cool to see them do that. They've done really well with that. And I, every time I've seen that, I'm like, it's fucking rad. That's really cool. Yeah. Like you said, it's so rare that you get that from developers when you've supported a game and like put your whole self into it. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even if it's a game that I'm not like interested in, or I know I wouldn't enjoy myself, it is really cool seeing companies be like, yeah, we have this community of people that are playing and we have these sort of exemplars of that community in the form of, uh, of certain broadcasters. And we're going to like do something to recognize that. I think that is really, mm-hmm. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Magic is uh, magic's doing some of that too, which is really neat with their pro tour and they're like invitational and they're like, look, these are people who, we yeah. like as part of the the thing we're gonna get them to play and put them on a, a profile and yeah that's really cool yeah yeah nice cool and so uh are you let me let's get let me give me a move update i saw there was some weather trauma how how was your move it was it raining like hell because it looked like it was yeah it was um it, the weather was fine the entire week and then saturday yeah. was the day we we're gonna move and saturday morning was the most rain i have seen in california in the past 10 years probably it was insane yeah it was like thunder and lightning which we don't get a lot of and there was like a flash flood warning my street had uh there's like one big drain pipe and it was just flooded and there was just like swirls of i mean it was like a whirlpool in my in my street um Yeah. yeah it was pretty it was pretty pretty bad and then where they had the burn areas there was a lot of people who were evacuated because they were worried about mudslides um a lot of people there was actually like i think 17 people who died uh due Whoa. to the thomas fire mudslides afterward because it burns away all the brush and then it all just goes down the mountain um so so yeah it was pretty intense and then we had hired or we had scheduled movers to come that morning and it the rain kind of slowed down they got there and the rain stopped they took all of our stuff out of our house and put it in the truck. It started raining on the way to the new house, and then it stopped when they got there. It was magic. It was great. Um, <laughs> That's good. Yeah, but it was that was that was pretty bad. But yeah, so now I'm in, I'm in the new house, which is why everything is kind of a mess right now. Uh, and I'm I'm having some internet issues, of course. So hopefully we can get that ironed out. Um, yeah. But yeah. So for right now, it's okay. I think the question I think the question that everybody really wants to know is. How is the Millennium Falcon, and did it make it there safely? Is it's it okay? still in the box. I, I actually have not unpacked that. It's I put it. Oh in God, a, you haven't checked on it. It's it's fucking Schrodinger's Millennium Falcon. I don't know if I get through the whole episode without knowing. You got to check for me on the break. I'm sure it's oh my God, I'm losing I, it. I know that it's fine because I moved it carefully by itself before I moved anything else. Before I moved my computers, my monitors, anything. That thing was in a box, bubble wrapped and saran wrapped and everything. So yeah. that that we're just leaving. So that it doesn't doesn't break. <laughs> right.
priorities. Touch. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I mean, you did, it did take forever to build. So good, good. good. I'm sure it's fine. I'm going to just put it out of my mind. It's okay. I believe you. I won't, uh, I won't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. uh, I wanted to say, Bronze, you're looking so resolved today. So many pixels. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh -huh. I saw By some stressed out tweets. <laughs> I, man, I get, every time I get a new camera, I sit here and think about how cameras are just racist because there's no such thing as an auto setting if you are the color that I am. Like your white balance will always turn you a horrendous shade of yellow or orange. And then you I have mean... to go through and manually adjust <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything. <laughs> So I was on. It is called, I mean, it is called cycle. white balance. It's balance yeah. for whites. Yeah. Thank you, JP. I was just talking about how, like, man, I don't wear a foundation. I wear a little bit of concealer. Everyone's going to get to see, like, the whole texture of my face. And even now, like, it, it, the, I, I look faded. Am I right? I look faded. I still haven't fixed it. On some fall cycle, which I'm on right before this, I looked, it looked dark and I had to like open this window just so I had any amount of illumination. It's been a curse. It's just, it's been, you. it's not great. I, I don't like it. And I still have to fidget with it to try to fix it. So yeah, it's been my, mm. <laughs> but more, been more pixels. So I hope you bastards yeah. are fucking happy. So there. There you go. Mm. That's right. I hope you bastards are happy. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, you, you got to, you got to, your, your new thing started this week. So that's gotta be some good news. I got to watch a little yes. bit of that. That looked like it was fun. Yes. That was the big impetus for me to upgrade yeah. my camera game. Cause mm -hmm. every time I am on anything on geek and sundry, I feel like my community is always like, you actually look like a bronze girl on that channel. On your channel, you look like a white girl who's maybe trying to be bronze. And I'm like, I can't help my monitors that shower me in unflattering blue light, okay? <laughs> I can't help you're that. Being accused, every... You're being accused of being a brown face version of yourself? Oh, people always comment. They're like, oh, man, you look like so like a different totally different shade when you're on Geek and Sundry. I'm like, well, that's what professional like production quality will do. So, yeah, but that aside, I'm I watched the first I did have the cast watch along for the first episode and I'm really excited with how it turned out. And oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, and I'm so happy that like they released the guest list cuz I had to keep that under my hat for so long and I'm such a big fan of like the Daredevil show. It's like my favorite like Marvel thing. I don't I, I've watched all the Netflix stuff and it's very like hit or miss for me which ones, but like Daredevil by far sits at the top, right? And I got to play D, &D yeah. with like Charlie Cox and I can I finally say, isn't say Charlie I played D, &D with Charlie, Charlie Cox. <laughs> doesn't Charlie Cox just play like a leprechaun in that game though? Like isn't he just like the lucky charms yeah. guy? Because yeah, I saw his intro like and he's just like Tatato, I'm Charlie Cox. I'm playing a leprechaun. <laughs> it's like Yeah, yeah. Mm, all right, Charlie. <laughs> Wasn't his name like Seanus McFlanagan or something as well? Yeah, well, yeah right. It was. Yeah, it's yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> they all are. I loved it. Kevin Smith is is amazing too, and um, yeah, because I'm one of the regular cast members on that. So there's four of us that are on it every week, and then we have a rotating guest spot. And so, yeah, now that the guest list has been unveiled, I could be like. Oh, I had to play D&D with my hero, Kevin Smith. So it was fun. It's good shit. It's nice. good shit. I'm excited. That's cool. That's cool. I've heard nothing but I've heard nothing but good stuff about that guy, especially from Zeke. I guess Zeke did. He's done an interview or two with him, and, and he seems like a totally rad dude. So yeah, yeah. He's super nice, super like high energy, which is great for anything D&D related. I really want to play Dungeons A lot of the guests have never played before. So Yeah, I want to play D&D with like... Vin Vincent D'Onofrio if we're talking about people from Daredevil. I want to play with that oh, guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he seems crazy. like he seems like he he just go off the deep end with the character. I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Is he one? That's is he good. one of those method actors? I don't know, but his Twitter seems like yeah, pretty He's very off the thoughtful. chain. He seems like yeah, yeah. He's very in touch with his emotions. I really like that. That's one of those things I look for in a person is whether they're in touch with their emotions or not. Because I feel like most people that are unpleasant to be around, it's because they're not. They're immature in the sense they can't like isolate why they're feeling the way they're feeling. So they right, usually they express that in, in shitty ways 
Whereas like part of maturity is being able to like isolate, like, oh, I'm feeling upset or insecure, or I feel like I've been hurt in some way. How can I, in a mature fashion, convey this to the people around me instead of being a giant man child? What so. what Bronze is doing right now is she's calling you out real hard, Twitch chat. She's just this is <laughs> what? again, and this is it. You're not you're not mad at us. You're mad at your own sense of powerlessness. All right. So <laughs> also, you see, just it's full it, circle. Get it together. In a different way, it makes sense that I'm I share with you guys my pain of my ear clogging. Right? It would be <laughs> immature of me to just hold it in. I'm sharing so we can connect over it and, and bond. I remember uh, there was like a full week where JP had that where he couldn't hear, and it was not easy to work with that man for that week. So it was I appreciate the same you period going where we both we had it both at the same time. So we were literally texting back and forth like, "Jesus Christ, this sucks. How are you doing? You're still clogged. Yep, mine too. <laughs> like having a couple of colicky babies." <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm glad you're in touch with your ear motions. Um, Mark, Mark of the Mark of the unfinished one shot. Um, so yeah, I won't I won't spoil <laughs> it. But Mark, Mark pulled Mark pulled the best. You have to let me do another one of these I've ever seen. Where we did the one shot. It was not intentional. Got, it was not intentional. Oh uh, yeah, sure, Mark. We got to the end of this D and D one shot that Mark was running, and Mark was like, "Well, I guess we didn't get to finish." So. Better have me back for another one. It's like, damn, Mark. Damn. <laughs> it's like, you know, the circle you... comes in on my face and it's like, do, 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 do. <laughs> and then that's the end of the episode. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, very nicely done. I had a great time. That was really fun. Thanks, uh, man. I'm glad it. you had yeah. a fun. I liked it. Yeah, it was, yeah, uh, was, it, was it was a fun, fun game. Um, it was always fun to play with Sam as well because I've not uh, had a chance to catch up with him in ages. Uh, and it was great. Mm -hmm. He had like a real, he had a real sort of, after we finished the one shot, like DMing me, like, oh my god, I've just thought of all this stuff and blah blah blah, like real that that kind of like you know character hype thing you get. So yeah, really cool. Yeah, you were describing you were describing Sam uh, to a T. Uh, I I have so many good messages from him from Nebula Jazz where he's just like, I had an idea, and I'm like, Sam, it's three a.m. Go to bed. Yeah, just stop thinking yeah. about your character. I love that shit though. Yeah. I love that shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's totally yeah. good. What have you been up to besides uh, wrangling your way onto another one shot? Uh, I've been, I, I blasted my way through Kingdom Hearts 3, so I did like a, I streamed the whole game and just powered my way through that game, and then yesterday I was mm -hmm. playing more Apex Legend, like everybody else on the planet, um, and yeah, like, like Anne and, and uh, Max said, it was really fun, I had a really good time with it, I've not played, uh, I've not played a Battle Royale game since Blackout, um, and, uh, PUBG, so it's mm -hmm. just been, yeah, really fun to play, and, um, just getting on with that, really. I'm trying to think, what else have I been doing? Nice. There's a lot of stuff for high rollers. Like we've been planning a lot of event stuff, so I've been super busy trying to organize a ton of stuff. Uh, we're hoping to try and go to like TwitchCon Europe and stuff. So just been trying to organize. Oh a ton yeah, of stuff like that that's well. yeah, that's happening. I yeah, I, mean, that's I, April, I keep. Is anyone so... else going to? <laughs> is, it, is it though? Like, is it the big purple fire fest or or what? Because yeah. they took. It took they so talk, long. They haven't talked about it until like just recently. They they like posted about it again, and that's a weird thing <laughs> yeah, to be they like. Didn't, they didn't actually say like, "Oh, tickets are on sale now." They're just like, "It's still happening." Plan so on it. Weird. How how do we plan on it? It's weird. <laughs> that's they even, it says that it it's might even just like, get delayed or oh, pushed wait, back. Yeah. Speed. Okay, so they have said the venue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Like, yeah, I think there's probably going to be more information coming soon. There's no panel That's, information. Like I'm, I'm also worried about it too because, like, TwitchCon, the last one, the main one, didn't go so great initially. Like, you know, like after a couple of days or a day or so of them having a dumpster fire outside of the convention center because nobody directed lines, no one knew where to go. Uh, they're gonna do that for the first time in in Europe, and leading up to it, there's like still no communication about like basic and that was shit. Fourth, <laughs> yeah. Well, last You'll, year was the uh, fourth, right? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Well, so they keep like moving they're... it around. It's like you can't develop a rhythm in a place with like. Imagine if a basketball team was just like, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna have it at this coliseum." Okay, cool. You guys come by. Next game, we're gonna eh, we're gonna do it in this big old tent. How about that? Is that cool? We're gonna figure it out. Don't worry about it. There's a lot of logistics involved. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> that's fucking yeah. it's weird that you can't do that i was talking even with the staff there like at the the you know the convention center they're like yeah i mean like this is it's like a first convention every time like that's not pretty typical mm. that's not typical no but totally it's only two months keep moving it around 
I'm really looking forward to uh, the Germans reacting to that as well, because man, they love it when stuff's not well organized. <laughs> I was about yeah, to say, right. if, I know, if I know I've anything, if, oh, yeah, man. if I know anything about Germany, it's that they love chaos. They just love <laughs> when things have no rules and then anybody just does whatever they want. It's a culture mm -hmm. of just freewheeling hippies, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so uh, well, that's fine. I'm sure they'll we'll be see. okay. Well, it's it's a lot less, I imagine, a lot less of an impact for you than it would be for someone all the way over here. That, like, if yeah, it blows out, it's thing. not as if, it's not as if it was, like, a, you know, three-week-long journey for you to get yeah. there. Like, Three-week-long journey, yeah. It's on Mars. Uh... Yeah, pretty much. Listen, man, Europe is Mars. I don't know if you know this, but <laughs> for people in North thing. America, you basically live on Mars. Yeah. It's not wrong. That's why I'm, like, not wrong. I with all this that we just said about it, it's like I'm not committed to that at all. I don't. I, if there's an opportunity that pops up that makes sense for me to go there, like, yay, let's go to Germany again and we'll check it out. And if it's a dumpster fire, whatever. I didn't pay yeah. for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, to... I'm actually, I'm actually a little bummed that that it's maybe happening, happening question mark this year because uh, I'm going to I'm going to a con in Poland right before and I can't. I couldn't do both. Uh, mm -hmm. And I've I've been looking for an excuse to go to Germany. So I hope that whatever happens this year, I hope that they do it again next year and they learn a bunch of stuff, and then it's mm -hmm. like real good, and I can go and check. Yeah, it. that that is my yeah. hope. But you're you're doing all you're doing all this event stuff for all time for yeah. yeah, so uh, doing that, and then potentially, I mean, looking at trying to do stuff in the U.S. as well, and trying to do more stuff here in the U.K. There's a bunch of like U.K. events that we want to try and do. So it's just been busy. So, Lots of uh, me being like the dad of high rollers and being the admin guy and trying to sort it all out so uh yeah so is that is that a role and i'm curious about this because i was talking to somebody about this mm. is that a role that you like chose to do or was <laughs> like given to because you're the dungeon master <laughs> <laughs> i love the laugh very that, yeah there's a lot it's it's mostly b with a little of a <laughs> it was kind of one of those <laughs> things of like but you're the dm you're the responsible right? one who's organizing stuff anyway so yeah it's natural that you speak to and there is a natural element to it like right when we get a sponsor for a show then they want to uh -huh. speak to me because i'm the one that's like planning stuff and normally i'm the one who's doing the read so it makes sense for me to talk to them but there's also just this kind of like but you're the you're the adult you do it <laughs> and it's like uh, it's like a million plates going off at once that I'm trying to juggle, but yeah, there's also an element of me picking to do it because uh, you know it's it's my baby. Like I'm the one who's like super massively invested in its success, so I want it to do it. You're a saint. Can, so. You are a saint. Yeah, that is, <laughs> I don't that is not me that at all. Much. Anytime like people <laughs> expect me to do something, I'm just like, I'm the GM, motherfucker, not the producer. That's your job. Like the, I, I am very Thank much you. like that. Like yes. I, no, I, love, I love the logic of take the person That's who's you. already doing the most work and make yeah. them do more work. Like, oh, I'm going to run the mm. campaign and stuff. I'm not going to do all this other shit. Like, what's your job then? Are you producing or not? Yeah, not talking this, about you. This is a thing. You're yeah. a wonderful producer. So that never, we never yeah. had that friction. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be on the show. But like <laughs> with other people, I have had that friction, like where I've, the office space moment where my producer asked me for something and I'm like, what would you say you do here? If I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, what some, do you we some producers, producer some producers yeah. are like EA and other producers are not. And it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them just get paid to do nothing, uh, and then others actually do work. Um, yeah. But I think I think I brought that up because I think that that's common for even outside of this like space. I think it's common mm. at at the table where people mm. just assume that the DM is going to like schedule the game and like make mm -hmm. sure there's a place to play and like do all of that stuff. And they're just like, oh, I thought I thought the DM would handle this, but it doesn't. It doesn't say that in the rules anywhere that we have yeah. to do this stuff. So yeah, I'm glad and that to, you don't to hate make it. it fair, to make it fair, yeah. a bunch of my guys do do other things. Like we, you know, my guy Tom handles all the podcasting stuff. He makes sure that's all edited for YouTube. Like there's, I, we try and split the load, but I think mm -hmm. on some of the bigger things, a lot of it kind of falls naturally on me or I take it on myself. So, and a lot of the other guys are very, very busy with their own, like, you know, streaming or YouTube channels and stuff like that. So we try and just which, distribute it as much as you're, we can. you're, which I was gonna say, you're not also doing anyway. Well, yeah, uh, <laughs> like Adam, okay. I'm trying to be diplomatic. Okay. I know Leave you're being alone. very, listen, I have politeness sense, like plus 20 and I can see you doing this. Like the Canadians fucking learned it from somewhere. And what you're doing here is like, well, you know, they've got lives and have to sleep and have things they have to do and i'll I just i don't need to do those I'll, things I'm i don't GM. need to <laughs> i'm british I'll we just don't suffer yeah. yeah stiff upper lip mark lay back and think it's of england 
It's the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's uh <laughs> let's nice. play yeah. let's play some role playing games. Yeah, bro, bronze. Can you fix your camera? Like all of us are are balanced properly, but. You're looking a little pink, so if you could just... Excuse me, I'm a night elf. Day. How dare you address me? In this <laughs> That's better. I'd rather be a goblin than a night elf, because night elves <laughs> suck ass. <laughs> wow, what is going on? Sometimes, you know, this happens. Max's internet breaks. Bronze's camera doesn't work. It's fine. We're it fine. might still break today. Who knows? Yeah, I I, you got up early. You got up earlier, and I like I could feel my heart stopping. I was like, oh, Christ, not again. Here we go. So thank Is this you for the longest back. time to game that we've had so far? <laughs> I think it, it only be. seems that way because we started so late. This is actually like a fairly normal oh, amount. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It's just, yeah, it just seems like it's been an hour, but that's not yeah, our fault. A normal not our fault. Yeah. It's because of our shitty fucking producer. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what an asshole that guy is. Uh, cool. Well, I'm going to go uh, before this gets too much worse. Uh, and uh, yeah. All right. Okay, let's do goals. Max, you have to start. Um, so last last session, uh, we found a dead body. Uh, we were presented with a dead body. Uh, you uh, you had arrived on Imperial Prime, the grand splendor of Imperial Prime, and made your way to the Serpent's uh, safe house, uh, where a gift uh, a gift was awaiting you. Um, well, if you're Nomi, a gift was awaiting you. Everybody else, not so much. Um, but, uh, as you, uh, as you went to exit to, I believe the plan was to go and interrogate, uh, the Rasul Amin, uh, of, uh, of Vela, the house Vela, um, I guess, uh, candidate for comptroller. Uh, you went to go and get into one of the, the cabs that the, the city provides. And, uh, as the, uh, as the doors open, uh, there lies a, uh, a dead officiant in a serpent's uniform. So there's a there's a mystery there to be solved, um, or at least a body to be dealt with. Uh, and then there's the rest of your uh, your mission on planet, which was operating for House Crux to figure out who Crux should back in this contest for Comptroller of Imperial Corporate Oversight. Uh, tensions have been raising between the corporates and the Empire, and uh, the Empire was uh, the Imperial Courts are appointing this new this new person. Yes. Good. Excellent. Sorry, guys. That's my doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> what? How is that me? I don't know. I was muted, even. I don't know. You were muted, too, through the, the program? Yeah. No, my mixer was hard muted. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> oh. Guild interference. Good, good. I heard good that earlier, but I only heard it once. And. My computer like froze up for a second, so I was like trying to close out of what I was doing, and it and it was making Windows noises. I don't know. Oh. That's weird. Computers. What a strange Dead body. Technology. What are we gonna do about it? <laughs> what are we gonna do about it? So yeah, what's everybody's uh, what's everybody's goal for for this session? Um, Booker, you have a mystery before you, and you are a police detective. What do you want to do? Solve um, the mystery. I mean, yeah, that's a thing you could do. Yeah, I mean, that, that should be my goal, unless my goal from last session wasn't solved, which I don't actually have up right now, so give me one. Uh, your goal from last time was, uh, yeah, use your contact network. I don't think anybody really like did much on their goals last time, so use my contact network to learn about the candidates. So that can still be your uh, your goal if you want, or you can deal with this more like present. Uh, I think I think I'm going to switch you to the, body. Yeah, to the dead body, like find out okay. where the dead body came from, like, Solve that mystery, I guess, if you want to call it. Yeah, basically, like you, you're, yeah. you're, yeah, you're, you're pulling a case. So mystery is um, afoot. Okay, all right. Solve the. Case. Imagine if that's how Booker talked. <laughs> oh God, I'd rather not. <laughs> it would be horrible. <laughs> what do you have against uh, hero of my country, Sherlock Holmes? Did <laughs> did he talk like that, like a Vincent yeah. Price Sherlock Holmes? A mystery is afoot. Hello. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. That's what we're all taught yeah. in school here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Indubitably, old chum. Why are you shrieking away from me, Watson? <laughs> Elementary, my dear Watson. Hello. All right. All right. So solve the case of the dead serpents. And that is Booker's goal. Okay, cool. Um, 
Let's see. Uh, Bicky, what do you want to do today? Bicky tip. It's got to happen every time. Mm-hmm. Me too. Uh, can my goal be to kick ass and take names? <laughs> uh, I will not know when you are done kicking ass and taking names, so you can't get experience yeah. for that. If you have a yeah, particular name you'd like to take and an ass you'd like to kick. Shoot at least one person. Um, I guess, what was my goal last time? Do you remember? Yeah, I do. Uh, and by remember, I mean I wrote it down. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Your goal was, uh, oh, yeah, find out who might be threatening Nomi, right? Because there was this idea mm. of, like, you're here to keep an eye on her. This this seems mm-hmm. like an overt threat, right? A dead dead serpent yeah. in a yeah. cab. Ascertain the source of this corpse. Okay. Where did uh, this come from? Is it a message? Is it a crazy that's... random happenstance? Was it sent to us as an omen or a portent? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, could you All uh, mysteries that we re- shall solve together, Biggie Tip. <laughs> can you reduce <laughs> reduce it down to like maybe a sentence? Rather than the six sentences you just gave me? Yeah, uh, ascertain whether or not this corpse is a message from someone or something. Okay. All right. Ascertain. You know how, like, like sometimes the mafia will send you a bullet with your name on it, you know? Like, is this a horse head in your bed? Yeah. Yeah. Is this a horse head? Is this a whore's head? It's it's probably not. It's a it's a it's a functionary. Um, (laughs) Metaphorically speaking, Adam, metaphorically speaking. Come on. Got it. Okay. Is it a horse? So ascertain if ask ascertain if the corpse is a message metaphorically. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay. sure. All right, uh, Nomi, what do you want to do? Uh, survive. <laughs> okay, I mean, yes, uh, that's sort of a given. Let's see. Mm. I guess my goal would be to... Oh, I want to make contact with the... Uh, I forget what the name of it was. The people who sent me the immortal basket thing. The card sure. they sent me a, like a card like this is a gift from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gave you a card that displays uh, local um, uh, addresses, like places where you can go uh, to connect with the Trillion Ring or with the uh, with the Deathless. Yes, I would like to make contact with them. Um, okay, the people who sent me the basket or the box. I don't know why I keep saying basket yeah. like it was a fruit basket. <laughs> fruit basket full of guns and drugs. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's fine. Pretty good. Okay. All right. Let me contact with the Immortal Association. Okay, cool. All right. And uh, Gabriel, what would you like to do? Hmm. Good question. Trying to decide if Gabriel would be more focused on kind of keeping an eye out on the gang, like making sure everyone stays safe. Because it sounds like if like Booker and Vicky are kind of investigating, digging into this body, that's going to stir up some trouble. Um, Or if I want to do something more focused on the objective, like the mission, or this The Expanse project. I'm trying to decide. Um... What would he be more invested in? Hmm. I think for now, mainly focusing on keeping, like making sure that everybody stays safe. I think like focus on protecting the team. Um, Because I'm not sure if his skills are necessarily going to be va- as valuable on the Prime, on the uh, Imperial Prime. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're on Imperial Prime. I was I keep forgetting that. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, cool. yeah. so I think world. bodyguarding or like yeah, looking, you know, keeping an eye on the squad or like um stopping them from coming to any harm. Something like that. Okay. All right. So prevent harm, prevent any harm coming to the squad. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, because that kind of plays into him being suspicious of this, uh, the Immortal Society and stuff as well, and them just knowing where we yeah, are. Yeah, because they got that, they got that trillion connection. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. 
All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll jump we'll jump right back into where we left off. Uh, the door of the uh, the auto taxi sliding open, uh, and within the bloody scene, uh, a young uh, serpents. Uh, well, we we haven't confirmed that it's actually a serpents. They're dressed like a, a serpents functionary, so dressed in black and in green, and uh, they are lying uh, in a pool of what you can only assume is their own blood. Uh, and it looks like their uh, their throat has been cut. So there's like a a wound across the neck, uh, and they're they're laying there. And the uh, the door chimes, letting you like reminding you like like hey we're here, come on in. What do you do? Uh... We're all there, right? We're, we're, I, we're yeah, getting everybody, you were just, you were, it was yeah. like it's like your your Uber showed up and there's a corpse in it. Um, yeah, roll back no, a second. Though, no, like, like, like driver. We got a car to go to the first like person we wanted to investigate. We were going to go to the house Valen um, applicant for the comp something. What was it called? The title, um, the incredibly exciting title of Comptroller of Imperial Corporate Oversight. I always thought Comptroller was a yeah. weird name for like a title. Controller. Yeah, because it sounds kind of like controller, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, all right. So yeah. I guess it slides open. Booker looks at it. Ah. Mm -hmm. I'd probably immediately be on like the lookout for anybody, uh, any changes in the environment around us, worrying that this would be the kind of thing that they would send and then a sniper or some bullshit is yeah blinding. yeah yeah okay yeah make a make a notice roll with uh with wisdom mm -hmm. wisdom i really need to put some points in this at some point <laughs> oh i mean apparently not I um not. you you do not spot around you any like snipers or pending uh, uh ambush there isn't anybody like waiting to spring a trap that you can see. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, can I go knock on the curbside window where the driver is? Uh, so there's actually no driver. Uh, these oh, are automated. It's completely automated. Google yeah, yeah, they're transit. Ask. They're transit pods. Yeah. Um, is there any kind of like HUD I can access to see who the last fare was or attempt to yeah, crack it, into? Yeah, it chimes. It chimes again. It's just like. Boom, which means like, hey, uh, if you're going to take this cab, get the fuck in. I'm going to chime one more time and then we're going to leave. Uh, so mm. if you get in, you want to try to disable it from from traveling. You yeah, yeah, can... yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I want to yeah. so see you wanna, you know, who the last in. person in and out was. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so I think it's it's no problem to get in without like fucking with the scene. So you step over the body. There is a um, there's a panel on the front and it has like a warning sticker on it. Like, do not, uh, you know, do not meddle with this panel under imperial uh, law, whatever, whatever. Um, Fuck unless that you are a, yeah. So you're just going to like snap out the knife yeah. and just cut the panel open. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll cut the sticker okay. in half. I don't give a shit about some fucking sticker. Damn. Damn. You just committed you a very minor crime. That's the only way I'm going to get in trouble is if any hard. of y'all motherfuckers snitch on me. That is okay. nice. If you have been fined on one credit for tampering with a material <laughs> car. Yeah, I mean this is technically this is technically illegal and all of Imperial Prime has a massive stick up its ass. So, yes, you technically did just break the law. You but have I five points book. left on your license. <laughs> <laughs> and Booker I assume is looking the other direction. Um yeah, so let's have you uh, let's have you make a program roll. Uh, okay. I think a seven or seven or better will let you tamper with it, and it'll it'll stay in place. Okay. Uh, with int. Uh, intelligence. Yeah, int or dexterity, whichever you prefer. Okay, I'm gonna do dexterity. My program's so dexterity is like dexterity is just like cutting wires and and whatever, yeah. and then int would be like yeah, re re doing the software. Okay, yeah, so you're fine. So you just, like, snip a wire, and there's a, a sound. The, the chime doesn't go again, but instead the light in the, in the cab changes from, uh, like, a cool white to a kind of slightly alarming, like, amber color. Uh, and a voice comes on uh, over, over the thing and, and says uh, in, in Imperial, um, Our apologies, this unit is no longer functioning. 
and uh, you see on the readout that it has sent a message to like the whatever the technical like office is, and they're gonna some somebody is gonna come and fix it. Uh, mm. And uh, the voice says like, uh, "Please call for another cab. We apologize for the inconvenience." And it uh, it jostles slightly and starts to move out of the way. So like it moves away from the the open dock part. Mm. Uh, do you want to do you want to stay on it? Does everybody else jump on or do you just follow it? It's not going to go away like far. It's just going to basically pull into an alley. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Again, to, give you, to give you guys the visuals here, your uh, this is a it's a, a planet world, right? An ecumenopolis. So the the buildings are all built quite high uh, up and down. Uh, you're not on the ground. You're on mm -hmm. essentially like a bunch of series of patios or bridges. And below you is just like a massive drop. And then vehicles are all hover and they move around. Uh, and so what it's going to do is it's going to pull away from the normal docking place. And it's going to come around a corner uh, where it will wait for uh, somebody, a tech team, to show up and fix it. I'll lean out the door and like motion everybody that I've disabled its autopilot function. Excellent work, Miss Tip. I'll just follow along along the side. People don't usually call me Miss, but uh, yeah, sure. What do you prefer? You could just call me Tip or Vicky. Miss Tip sounds a little weird. E Tip. Tip it is. <laughs> hmm? E Tip or something like that, or is there something you shouldn't be called? No, I don't really care what you call me, but it just sounded awkward. That's all. We have a few minutes before the crew comes through to try to fix this thing, so if you want some time alone with it, now might be your chance. Mm, I don't see any immediate threats around the area. They've obviously just clearly sent a message. There doesn't appear to be some sort of ambush. No, if Should that we... was their, their plan, would have happened already. We would have been shot before we even heard it. Mm. Should we alert the authorities that we have a crime scene in our, on our hands? Do we want to have a look at it first? Mm. If we want yes, to have a look right now. Time to get, it will take them some time to get here anyway. Very true, Cyrus. True enough. I'm going to have a look at the body here. Um, Please. Roll some insight. Yeah, what do you want to do? So you get in and uh, take a look at the at the scene. Yeah, it'd be a notice, uh, notice and intelligence, uh, probably. Um, and then you, you can tell me what you're doing and you can ask me some questions. Uh, big dog. That's All right. Cool. So you get a cursory, a cursory look at the scene. Uh, you would have a better time of this if you had like proper forensics, like scanners and stuff. But, mm -hmm. uh, what are you looking for particularly? So the, the body is laying, uh, on a sitting, kind of like sit laying, like lounging uh, on the on the bench across from the yep. door. So when the door opened, the door they go wing open, and you could see, uh, you could see the body looking kind of like straight out. Um, partway slid down the down the seat, uh, blood all over the front of their outfit, uh, and then pooled on the floor. Uh, and uh, yeah, what else do you want to know? Yeah, so I'm just. I have my, my gloves on and I'm just trying to get an idea of who this person is, figure out if this, the clothes are something that was recently put on this person, if they're super new and crisp or, you know, if it doesn't seem like they're worn in at all, does, you know, does anything look amiss? Oh, uh, so you're trying to, Who's you're trying is? to figure out. Yeah. You're trying to is figure out he if we know. Yeah, it's a he. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember. He, okay. Um, yeah. yeah. He has a, uh, he has a short ID. A uh, short, almost like kind of military looking hairstyle, um, which is maybe a little unusual for a serpent's. Um, he uh, he's like young, but this is hard to tell because it's it's Imperial Prime and everybody has like life extension. Um, right. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, he but looks he looks he looks to be, to be in like his, 70. Right? Yeah, exactly. He looks like he's in his late 20s or early, uh, early 30s. Um, uh, and then. Yeah, and then he the clothes look they're not worn like they they're not old or anything, but they don't have that sort of like fresh out of the out of the box kind of look, right? They're they're not like freshly pressed or anything, but they're neat. Um and they're made out of a like a fine material. Uh it doesn't I think to answer the question you're really asking, it doesn't look like someone killed a person and then put these 
on them yeah, exactly. or put them on them and kill them. Yeah. Yeah. So these look like they look like this person's clothes to a degree that you wouldn't be able to tell otherwise if that's the case. Gotcha. Um, would I be able to scan their like chip where it normally would be to figure out who they are? Or is there any indication uh, that that has been removed? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you want to like ping like ping Signet and look for a, a record? Absolutely. Yeah, you're a, you're a you're a crux. So you you would have access to that. So you um you get out your comms. I'm still a police cop. Yeah. Well, and you're you're part of House Crux too, so that's part of yeah. doing your job. Um so you ping you ping Signet for some information, but all you can get uh is a name. Uh this person's name is uh Friedrich Lang. Uh Friedrich Lang, uh House Serpents, so Serpents Lang Friedrich. Uh and everything else about them is a higher security clearance than you have which is unusual. Mm -hmm. So while, while Booker's examining the body, uh, Vicky, Gabe, Noe, what are you doing? Can I ascertain um, how, like, how the person died? Like, is there blood everywhere? Or? Yeah, somebody, somebody cut their throat. Right. Or right. I get or I guess I guess they could have been poisoned and then had their throat cut or like your, right. your prime guess your prime guess um, would be like laceration of the throat parts and all the Yeah, I meant more like um using like some of my I'm not a detective, so I'm not going that route with it, but using like right. my knowledge of like hand to hand combat. Can I oh, figure like, out was it a like, fight or yeah, yeah make like, a, how, like yeah. how did he die? Like was this person? Yeah, yeah. other defensive right. wound. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Right. You want a Sherlock Holmes to this shit? Well, pull up, put on your yeah. best Christopher Lee voice. Um, <laughs> oh god. Yeah, make a uh, make a notice, make a notice intelligence roll. Okay. Mm, okay. No, there's no defensive wounds, right? So none of this, mm. none of the arms up, no no cuts on the forearms, no cuts on the hands. Um, the wound is deeper on one side than it is on the other. Uh, and they probably that probably to you indicates that the knife went in on one side kind of deep and then pulled across from behind. So this mm. isn't one this wasn't like a sword. Ugh, this wasn't like a sword slash from the front. This was mm. someone came up behind them, grabbed them, and jabbed the knife in and just yanked it sideways. Um okay. it's not a like a monofilament blade or anything like that like it's just like a, a knife a sharp knife but it's yeah, it's, yeah. like a primitive weapon there's some, there's some raggedness to the edge of the to the edge of the wound uh this wasn't yeah this wasn't cut with anything like particularly mm. special based on like the blood pattern was this person yeah. kit like were, were they cut and then tossed into the taxi like face forward uh, on their back no, so or were they killed yeah, here yeah. are there so smears? you turn yeah you turn and you look up and look at the the like ceiling of the cab and the back the back of the door. There's no there's no spray, right? It's ah. all it's all down the front of him yeah. and on the floor. Mm. I'm gonna point that out. Okay. Uh, the body was moved after mm. the dude had his throat slit. Mm. Typically, when you cut somebody's any amount of arteries or veins that carry that amount of blood, especially ones in the neck that are a little bit pressurized, uh, shit gets everywhere. And It'd be a lot more messier in the cab itself. I just kind person, of, I'd probably shoot Vicky please. a look of like, yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. You, you've seen this shit, so have I kind of look of mm -hmm. like, we've probably done this to other people at some point kind of deal. Right, it's, um, it's like a two-part thousand-yard stare where you meet in the middle. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah uh i'm actually going to turn to nomi um and actually just kind of say see this this was obviously intended for you are you all right this is quite a message to be receiving upon arrival in imperial prime of course i'm all right why wouldn't i be because some people may be shocked by something like this but i'm glad to or hear her shoots her a analyzing glance like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think Gabriel just regards a cool in as just, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, what would you like to, next steps? We could continue on with the mission. Uh, Booker I'm, and Miss Bicky seem to be in 
handling this situation very well. But obviously, love I love Miss Vicky. She makes the best kids. chips. Mm. <laughs> love that salt and vinegar. He's a polite guy. I know. No, I love. I love it. It just. I didn't. I didn't hear Vicky. I heard Vicky, mm. and I was like, mm, yeah. yeah. What okay. would you like? To uh, do um. Well, we came here with the knowledge that someone was going to be unhappy with my presence, and so I'm not surprised that they are sending a threat. Although it is unfortunate that someone had to die in order for this message to be sent. We should learn more about this Friedrich Lang, and hopefully there is some information we can gain by looking up his identity and seeing what he's associated with and why he's here on the planet. However, I must... I uh, confess that I'm, I'm not I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find very much if Booker was unable to find anything about his identity with his security clearance. It's possible that we may need to contact the Trillion organization on Imperial Prime. They were also aware of my presence, and so maybe they, un, maybe they can tell us more about how they found out that we would be here, and therefore showing us who else might have access to that information. Hmm. Well, maybe one thing other... in my my experience is uh, when somebody does something like this, if they wanted to kill you, it would have happened already. So you don't have to worry too much about your personal safety right now. In my mind, it's kind of a coward's move to meant to intimidate you. Perhaps there's more deeper uh, meaning behind it. We don't know. We'll have to wait until we find out more about this poor soul right here. But for the time Fine. being, it shows that they're worried and intimidated. Follow the thread backwards. It's very clear this was a message. The body was placed in the cab after they inflicted the killing wound, which means that they knew this cab in particular was headed here. We could always check out the cab company, see if they've had any breaches in their security, follow the thread backwards that way. Mm. Yeah, is there a way for us to look up like how like the cab history? Like where did it come from? Yeah, it's technically privileged information, but if somebody wanted to make a, a little hacky hacky and get in there with the program role. Mm. Can't we just, I mean, if we call the, if we alert the like authorities on the planet. Yes. Maybe yeah. The they... other, the other way, the other way you could do this would be, yeah, to call and we just be cops, like, yeah, so. it's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You are the yeah. space. Apparently I'm not much of a cop. Stupid ass security. Well, clearance. I think. I think that well, we're going to find a lot of bureaucratic red tape if we try and go yeah. that route. That's the only thing I'm well, thinking. You're, you're a cop, but you're not like the defense secretary of the universe, right? Yeah. Like, I am the law. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and, the, and the, thing, the thing was, the thing was there, uh, you, it, it's supposed to be weird, right? You're supposed to be like, yeah. oh, like some, this is, because normally any, any given noble, you should just be able to see who they are using Signet. You have access to that information. But this guy, it was like, eh, nope, sorry, boop, boop. can't do it. Mm. Okay. Um, There's two things. The one thing to note, Booker, whilst I agree that it is a, uh, this is an intimidation tactic, this is an up close and personal attack. Uh, it takes somebody of some skill, at least, to sneak up on an unsuspecting person, take them out in one blow. There are no signs of defensive wounds, as Miss Tip pointed out. And uh, normally, I would expect somebody who is less competent to use a longer range weapon, something which has less chance of the attacker being discovered. So there is something there to be considered. We may also be able to discover Frederick Lang's identity through other means. The High Church does have a large presence here on Imperial Prime, and if he is of somebody of importance, I may know some people that could at least tell us who he was. Um, it probably would be the best route to go. As soon as we look him up in an official capacity, there's, I'm sure there's going to be all sorts of pings and red tape if we want to try to keep it uh, on the down low, as they say. Could, Do they still say that? Uh, yes. try yeah. my contacts. I yeah, well, and I, I like I like that result. I like that idea, and and the reason I was smiling, Mark, was that I like that you were like, mm, yes, well, your secular databases may have run out of information, but I know people, <laughs> church people, and I was like, yeah, that's <laughs> true and ominous and like kind of threatening. I love it. So I yeah, that's also a root. God people, <laughs> that's right. God sees everything, motherfucker. Yes. Yeah. So he's yeah. like Santa Claus that way. I can try to take another crack at the panel, see if I can pull some GPS data on where else this cab went today. I don't know how lucky I'll be, but 
might be worth a might shot. Might as well go for it and try. Yeah, especially before the fix of the repair crew arrives. Can I attempt I can bring... to do that, Space Master? Yeah, what would you what would you like to do? You wanna to try to crack you wanna to try to crack the the thing that is protecting this system's um, yeah, like flight. Path, I want to basically. Mm-hmm. I want to see if I, if we can like pull, like, because I'm sure there's some software in it that like drives it and tells it where to go. I want to see like what all it, what addresses it got pinged with today before, because clearly it it received the signal to come here and someone intercepted it on the way, so that could give us some valuable information. Mm-hmm. Right, my understanding is yeah, correctly. Totally. Yeah, yeah, you want to crack crack into mm-hmm. it? Yeah, do it. Okay, uh, so, so make a this one's an intelligence role, intelligence and mm-hmm. uh, and program because now you're working with the software. So you, you we see we see Bicky like pull out a cable uh, from the panel and hardwire like plug right into the into the system uh, and the system's like software comes up in a, a portal on your screen and uh, yeah and now you can you can start digging mm-hmm. into uh, digging into it. So let's all right. Uh, so uh, the, the, I am not Riley, so I don't know how this is gonna go. <sighs> Is it worth one of us giving you a hand? <laughs> the- yeah, if 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 somebody okay. else, yeah, if somebody else wants Got to it. help, because otherwise Bicky's not going to be able to do it uh, on her own. What is what did she roll? What did she roll? I, I uh, need program. one success. We need plus one yeah, program. Need, yeah. program, program one. and intelligence. I have a negative one, but a plus one intelligence. Um, yeah, I got I don't it. Know. Plus one intelligence. Yeah, so you can do it. What about Nomi? Is Nomi any good at programmy smarts? Can she can talk it to it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can she use her mind to destroy her self worth? Can I talk at Hello, it? Hello, computer. <laughs> yeah. Do what I want. Hello, computer. computer. Piece of shit. <laughs> yes, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. Well, I will try and assist Vicky then uh, using okay. the Crusader's basic knowledge of the hacks. Time okay. to hack. Uh, programming plus intelligence, yeah? Mm hmm. Hey. Okay, Ooh. so you do get that plus one. So mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to give you a choice, Bicky. You could do one of one of two mm-hmm. things. You can have that information, but it will put the cab company on alert that the cab has been uh, compromised in intelligence. Like they will notice that you hacked it, or you can you can be like, eh, they're going to catch me if I do this and and not do it. Can I confer with my teammates? Uh, no, you have only a moment to make that decision. I'll take the info. Okay. All right. So, and when I feel we like say the cab info's company, more valuable than we'll get in trouble. It's better to ask forgiveness than ask permission. So, so just just as a just an aside, basically everything about the infrastructure of Imperial Prime is either like several hundred years old uh, VI controlled technology. Um, so a bunch of like interlocked uh, semi autonomous systems, like computer systems, because it's all old tech, right? Um, or uh, is like court owned uh like privatized corporations like acre and trilliant and uh prisma so they all have like their own stuff going on on the planet but all the Mm. infrastructural stuff is Mm. technically part of the government um so like when you when someone notices they will be uh like someone who works for a noble and part of that that same kind of organization um but okay so the the cab operator uh knows that it was meddled with Okay. All right. Uh, so it keeps in memory on the car, like on the car itself, it keeps like the last three stops. Uh, everything else is uploaded to to their mm-hmm. mainframe uh, as part of their like analytics data. So yeah, you can you can definitely tell where it was last time, uh, where where it stopped last. Yeah, I'll just like copy down that information onto my data pad. Okay. Um, from from the second like so two trips ago it had four passengers that it dropped off then it left that to go pick up uh, a single passenger and it carried that single passenger here um so it looks okay. like this person was put on at the last stop unless they were murdered mm-hmm. when there were four people on there and three of them left right, right. but we ascertained or, that they weren't murdered yeah. on board so it's probably That's the last right. stop yeah. so i'll just take unless, that info yeah, unless the ship, unless the little pods like systems have been fucked with. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just take that. And it didn't make any, any like even a brief interruption along the way. It didn't register like, oh, this has been. No. Okay. So I'll just take that info, save it onto 
my little data slab and then uh, tell the rest of the party uh, manage to get the data, but I also triggered some security stuff, so we should probably go. Okay. Sound good. I'm not too concerned about getting caught here with this, other than them implying that we murdered this uh, man. Anyways, I'm sure the authorities will know soon enough. You want me to ping them, uh, know me, so that way they are aware of that? Um, Probably makes yeah, sense. So that, in and case that becomes, yeah, I mean, to... yeah, that becomes the question, right? Where where Booker says, like, okay, at some point we're going to need to talk to the authorities. Yeah, and they follow it up before she responds, saying, like, might make sense. Perhaps this was maybe a ploy to have us looking at the body on film. So if we reported ourselves, less likelihood that they can use that as any sort of ammo. Because why would we do that if we murdered them? Yeah, right. Booker's just like, yeah, yeah. What do you think, Nomi? Uh, I'll just like kind of nod, like approvingly, like I agree with him. Sounds um, good. Can I? Is there a way that I do? I have like a data pad or something where I can like look up the name of the person that Friedrich Lang? Yeah, I mean, you can do like a general. Like you have access to Google, basically, or the the equivalent, right? Where you can yeah. you can search for a, a person's name. Um, okay. Do you want you want to do that? Just make like a quick. Well, we don't have scan. like a crux database or something that's like a little bit better than just generic. Um, Google you search. can. I mean, you can make. Yeah, that's a separate thing. You can make a a data like an information request. That's that's another level of that too. Yeah, you have a lot of options for like figuring out a, a person. Okay. Can I do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you put in that put in that request, uh, for information on that name. Uh, okay. Sure, it'll take a bit. Uh, in the meantime, uh, what, uh, what are you guys doing? <clears throat> uh, well, so Booker's alerting the authorities, right? And then I guess, do we, I mean, should we wait for them to get here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Booker, are you just going to just pop open the phone and just like call up the, the local like crux office or do you have someone in particular done. that you want to, you, you want to call? Yeah, I would, uh, if I'm alerting the authorities, I'd probably have somebody, uh, I guess I could make a connect roll if you want me to, but. Yeah, well, that's, and that's the question, right? Like, if you want to get in touch with just any old, any old crux, you can, you can just do that. Um, but, uh, you could also, you could also say like, oh, I know somebody who's going to play ball, right? Yeah, I think I'd go right that route rather than just talking to the, you know, regular face of crux, you know, prime walk in the beat. That way it's yeah. you know, a little more productive and less accusatory or whatever. You don't get all yeah. tied up. No, I dig it. Okay. All right. Let's have you uh let's have you roll. Um tell me tell me a little bit about this uh about this person. So like what do you what do you want the, the parameters to be? Like you know them already, so you're it's somebody that you that you like somebody have I know a already, yeah. With. Yeah. I would I would, okay. would you, like perhaps somebody that I grew up with here that I know works, you know, uh Works on the, okay. the police here, and I Rux. assume you want them to be like friendly. I actually would like them to be an enemy, much like Gary It'll, and Pokemon. I mean, if I could make that happen. Okay, sure. Yeah. No. I mean, honestly, <laughs> I would you, like could, them to be you could. You could say that because it would reduce how difficult it is, right? Like, mm -hmm. so you want somebody who's friendly, who knows you, um, and how influential do you want them to be? Is this like a captain, a lieutenant, just a sergeant? Doesn't have to be high up. Um, okay, so just like a lieutenant, someone like with a little yeah. bit of clout. Because mm -hmm. if it's nobody, then it's not going to do you any good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. not looking for like right. send me the captain of the precinct. You know, <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, someone who's friendly, who knows you, and then anything else like they they're part of a particular like team, or or is that specific enough for you? Uh, I think that's specific enough. Cool. All right. So in this case, let's say like an eight or better and you get you get everything what you want. Uh, so connect and uh, connect and charisma will do it. I roll eights or better nice. in my sleep. Uh, not really. <laughs> no, I don't. Do that. Not really. But I'm glad that you <laughs> did in this. Really case. not true, Max. 
It's not. Yeah, I know. It's okay. Let's let's let him have the illusion for now. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. So yeah, her name uh, her name is Salome Ferrero, and uh, she is a Krieg's hair. So she has the same same rank as your boy Yancey. and uh, she is a uh, kind of like a rising a rising star. Unlike you, who has been stuck at the same rank forever, uh, she uh, yeah she's she's like I'm, ambitious. I'm she wants to go. She wants to go into politics, uh, and this is just one one way for her to do that. Uh, and so yeah, you you know her. She's reliable. She likes you. Um, what? What was the last time that that you and uh, Lieutenant Ferrero, uh, like the last time you saw this person, like what what would what would she think of when she hears from you again? Um, I think the last time was probably a little bit after, like we were out of quote unquote academy, um, and kind of getting split off to like assignments and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that would be the last. Okay, time. so she's she stayed here because it's like politically advantageous and you left to go and like do do good in the universe okay so right after the split after the academy she was chasing a title he was chasing the crime (laughs) right could have been a star cross lovers well so that's the other thing is like what was the tenor of this relationship what is it was it like rivalry was it camaraderie uh camaraderie with rivalry mixed in I'd say young romance, yeah, like earlier Booker, perhaps. Uh, consulted with Salami Ferrera Pan Candy. Uh, Salami. When I when I was a younger man. Salome, it's a name. It's from the Bible. Come on. Salami yep. Ferrera Roche. Salami Ferrera Roche. You know what I mean? I, I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> she was as sweet as candy, but bitter taste. Went <laughs> to the core. I don't know. Whatever. You're the worst. Get some. Get some. Some fucking art in your lives, you Philistines. <laughs> All right. My next character is so, going to be named Lunchable. <laughs> <laughs> See, but the thing is, Lunchables is actually like... Antipasti. Lunch, no, Lunchables... So Lunchables is actually like a completely acceptable name because we're so far away from these like things that, that these people have forgotten about Earth. They're just words, you can, right? You, yeah. They're just words now. Yeah. So you could just be yeah. like, yeah, I'm the Pirate Lord Lunchable. And they're like, what is that? And you're like, I don't know. It's a cool name. <laughs> so she's called Salami. Her name is not Salami. Hello. It's Salami. I am Captain Gogurt. Well, they don't have Salami. You know, get it out of your system. Cap- Captain your Gogurt system. and Captain Lunchable. Yeah. <laughs> Lord Gogurt. Yeah. He's from Thorg. Um, okay. So rivalry. Uh some romance. There's a you know Dr. Pepper on her... board too. <laughs> Should we give her a nickname so that you can stop making fun of Salome? Dr. Pepper? <laughs> Mr. Pibb? No. Sal- what do you think? Sally? <laughs> Sally is actually a really cute nickname for her, and she probably hates it. This yeah. show's tone God is sakes, very serious. I'm very, a doctor in silly. Minnesota. We always get these shows where we have like some serious shit that happens, and then we get one where it's just like just goofing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, where I'm trying like, to make the show go, and y'all are just yep, making fun yep, of me. We're all NPCs. just like, no, 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 no. It's fine. Okay. okay, so there was like, there was a brief, there was a brief, uh, like, terminated. I mean, also, your fucking name is Bicky Tip, so don't get in my face about this. Mm-hmm. Uh, so her, uh, there was some some brief romance, some rivalry. She decided to go into a more political branch of uh, of law enforcement, um, and you did not. You went out to uh, hunt down the synth menace and uh, protect the empire. I went out to do the death. real work. Well, <laughs> I'm sure that's an argument that you both had many times where she was like, <laughs> fuck you, I'm a real cop. And you're like, eh, are you though? And then she was like, you're a prick, Booker. Mm-hmm. So, uh, okay. Did she key cool. your car when you broke up? We we'll make jokes about together. that. Somebody keyed my car last week, okay? And I'm still like kind of <laughs> oh, torn up. Oh, shit. really? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, yeah, I thought I'm not actually tore up about it. I'm just mad. I'm just mad that A, people still do that. And B, nobody like wrote anything cool on my car. They just scratched it. I was like, was that the first time that the, that like, happened? Pentagram. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> yeah. The whole neighborhood got like a whole bunch of cars. Scratch like that off mass your bucket here. list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the whole reason I anyway, asked. It was for my own selfish you. joke. <laughs> it was perfect. I'll, uh, I'll take it. Um, so yeah. All right. So yeah, you uh you you get in touch with her. Do you call her directly or do you call like the office? Do you still have her personal like comms address? I'll probably try her personal comms to see if it's still the same uh one. Okay. The person sure. you are trying to reach has a disconnected number. If this is Booker, <laughs> fuck off. 
No, you got an 11. Okay. So Booker, you, you walk a little ways away so you can hear what's going on. Uh, you get away from the, the, the like main area where the, the vehicles are and, uh, yeah, it, it dials through and you hear a click and, uh, there's a, a woman's voice on the other side, but it's not Sally's voice. It's somebody else. Uh, and she, uh, she says, um, office of Krieg's hair Ferraro. How can I help you? Same last name? Yes, her last name is Ferrero. It's not the person that I know? You don't recognize this voice. She okay. might have an assistant now. Yeah, this is um, Booker Greaves. Um, is uh, Salame Shatalum? God damn that name. Is she in? <laughs> the Creek's area is in. She's just on the call right now. Can I have her call you back? Mr. Greaves. This is uh, a little bit of an important matter. If you, uh, I'm sure if you mention Book of Greaves calling, I haven't talked to her in a while, but if you'd let her know that it's important. The Craig's here receives a lot of important phone calls, Mr. Greaves. Could you tell me what this is about? It's like, pause. <laughs> He's trying to decide if he wants to. <laughs> just um, yeet your phone off the bridge. Um, just have her call me back as soon as possible. I will. At this May number, I ask who I'm speaking with. There's a a pause. Um, my name is Susan. I'm the Kriegsherr's assistant. Why? Fantastic, Susan. Old detectives have it. I understand. I'll pass your message along, officer. All right. Thank you very much. Like, okay. So you, you hang up and maybe, maybe a minute later, like not even, you don't have time to like put your phone away and walk back before it, it rings again. Sick. All right. Hello. Booker. It's been a while. You're on prime. It's her. <laughs> so <he's laughing>. Obviously. <laughs> it's not Mark laughing, so it got me. <clears throat> okay, we're good. Hi. Yeah, it's been a long time. I'm sorry Susan didn't put you through. It's been a hell of a day. What are you yeah, doing she's on Prime? Just assistant stuff, I get it. Um, got some business I'd rather not talk about over the phone. Something rather important. Uh, kind of fell into my cab um you have the time to come down uh i'd appreciate it if you if you came in person i wouldn't ask if it wasn't important i feel like you know that mm. well this is mysterious are you sure this isn't just an excuse to see me again booker you're not making this <laughs> up are you no i'm i'm not you you'd like that wouldn't you but no it's it's uh it's actually serious Good to hear your voice, because though. Because if I get there, and it's you, and a pair of handcuffs, and a bottle of whiskey like it was last time, I'm just going to get back in the car. Listen, last time was... Listen, I, have, I haven't stopped drinking, if that's what you're asking. But no, it's not that. Booker, I'm, I'm just busting your balls. I'll be right there. All right, appreciate it. See you soon. Yeah, she hangs up. So when Booker comes back... Have you managed to put on like business face or do you look a little like frazzled or no business face is on? Yeah. Okay. It's like a, right. it's if she comes up, there's like a slight smirk, you know, but mm -hmm. other than that, he's, he's, you know, business, even a professional. Yeah, totally. Okay. All right. So, uh, so Booker is off making a phone call. Uh, Bicky, uh, Gabriel and Nomi, what are you doing while that's, while that's happening? Um, so I know I, I like submitted the information request, but can I do just like a cursory search as well? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, make a um let's see. I think you have the you have the data available. It's just like it's not a, you don't have to make a program roll. It's um it's going to be uh notice and intelligence. You're scanning data. Oof. Mm, okay. Wow. There Ugh. There's a bunch, there's a bunch of like 
fairly like normal looking uh but but like he's like somebody who has he has like whatever the the space equivalent of like facebook or like some some like social presence on on the prism network but it's all like slightly more he knows how to use the privacy controls so you get like a profile yeah. you can't see uh and a you know space twitter but it's like private right so he exists but it's the privacy stuff is like all turned on mm -hmm. yeah at a casual glance okay so nothing useful yeah um, um can i i do i do owe you a, an info request which you will get it's just a matter yeah. of them processing it and sending it back can i also look up like information about the trillion um what is it what is it called? Because I know they get, I have like the coin with the Roboros on it. Mm -hmm. Is there like so can I do like a Google chat. search on that? Um, yeah, like just basic information on the the Immortal Association. Yeah, I don't know if they have like a website or like their organization yeah. on Trillion or on um Imperial Prime. Imperial Prime. Um. Yeah. 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 I think there's probably some some basic like they're not a secret. They're not a secret org. They're just like right. a cross, uh, cross disciplinary like organization. Um, yeah. So you you do a you do a search and you can find all their PR stuff because obviously like Trillion has the money to make that make that good stuff. Um, and yeah, the but what you can tell uh, from their from their site and from their their information uh, is that um, the Immortal Association exists to provide a wide array of services to the most valuable valued customers of Acheron Row. And it looks to you like they mostly sell expensive cyberware, uh, life extension technology, uh, genetic improvements. Um, yeah, it, it seems like a slightly more serious version of some of the Trillion stuff that you've seen uh, before. And you can't really clearly like get the connection between like the Deathless and like how Serpents is part of this. It's not something that you've you've been plugged into. It's part of the business part of the house. Um, so yeah, I think it's like a lot of kind of corporate fluff as far as you can tell. Okay. Does it have like a location? Yes. Yeah. There's, there is a, there's a trillion, uh, there's a trillion office fairly close to you that you can go to and, uh, and you can check out. Okay, cool. I'll just like make a mental note of that so we can go there later. Yeah, totally. Yeah. The card displays the, the address, uh, for the, the nearest trillion. Uh, facet, I think is what they call okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, so that's definitely a lead you can follow up on. Um, so info request on Friedrich Lang is pending. Uh, Gabe, do you want to do you want to make a call yourself? Just thinking about that, uh, I think the nature of his contact would be more an in person, but I could do the role now, like to see, you know, yeah, let's, what that relationship is about... like, or. Yeah, let's talk about the person. We'll do we'll do what uh, Max and mm. I did and and generate mm. you a a person. NPC. Um, yeah. So tell me about tell me about this this person. So I was thinking it could be um, somebody that Gabriel knew when he was in the siblings of the seventh. So this is when he was full spec ops before he went to the role as a chaplain, um, who handled information brokering. Um, but has since maybe retired to Imperial Prime. Um, you know, maybe came, like maybe moved back here to settle down. But Gabriel would still know, would keep a very close eye on like the movers and shakers and people around the town. Like somebody who would still kind of have like a, a foot in the game, but maybe is not. Okay. Uh, what's the word? Not seeing active duty. So somebody who's still involved in the the intelligence side of things, right? Um, like a, a retired kind of spy, people. basically. Yeah, basically. So they may be okay. like, and they'd Are be a they... member of the church. Yeah. Uh, would this person be a noble or? Uh, no, I or think not? that they would be, I think they would be uh, an abbot. So one of the church members who is there to function for the noble families to give advice and things like that. Mm -hmm. And that's how they keep their, you know, uh, feelers oh, out yeah. there and they have their web of contacts and stuff. Sure. Um, so and so. A high abbot so you're like you're the one you're the one that knows that the abbot is actually a secret agent um mm. but probably the abbot's like advisees are not aware of that and he's yes. like yes it'd be like they yes. transferred in confess confess your sins to me as he writes them down and sends them to the yeah yeah okay 
I hear you. Yeah, I was thinking maybe a woman as well, just to actually think a few of my NPCs have, have been uh, male characters. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, let me get a first name. Mm. Um, okay. So I figure probably for this to, to work out like the way you want it to, um, mm. let's, let's make this person a nine or a nine or better. I was gonna say I don't know if this will make it easier. I was thinking maybe they're not like they're not necessarily friends with Gabriel. Like you know they don't owe him anything, but it was just somebody he knows professionally, who uh, he if knows is like, very loyal if, to the Empire. If you would like this person to like actively not be that stoked about you, uh, mm. then that's that's totally that's totally possible. We can do that. They think. don't have to be your enemy, but they can just be like a rival yeah. or like some there's some maybe, bad blood, right? Yeah, well maybe kind of like um like we had with the the lady on Berkman, maybe it's a case of because this person was more of an intelligence uh gatherer, maybe she kind of frowned upon Gabriel's methods back then, especially when he was younger. He was a bit of a kind of bit of a killer. More of a killer than Yeah, the two now. of you can have you can have like a tragic there's some tragic backstory yeah. there where she she wanted someone to stay. Maybe she had to give you assassination orders for someone and was like don't do this. Like this person can yeah. still be saved, and you were like, "No, nope. <laughs> yeah." Okay. God says, "Kill me, kill." That's right. Yeah, you, you had you had your love. You chose death. You had you had your orders, and she was like, "No, like we can still save them. We can turn this around. They're a valuable asset." And you were like, mm -hmm. "No, nah, we're just gonna they're toast." Okay, mm -hmm. all right. So disagreed I'm with Gabe over in the past yeah yeah killing a an asset okay all right cool yeah let's have you roll so let's yeah let's call this one uh let's say seven or better in that case because it's a pretty complicated okay. relationship okay connect charisma yeah that <laughs> oh more comp more complicated than you think all right damn Classic. okay so, so one and a two oh. Booker got an eleven on his connect, and the <laughs> chaplain, yeah, uh, and and uh, and old Crusader Gabriel got a three. Okie dokie. All right, so it's good. I love that you keep getting people in the church that you don't trust or can't work with because it's just alienating you further yeah. from the organization that empowers you. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this person exists, and you. What do be. you do to like put out word, or do you just go to their church? Because I assume they work in a, a like a church or a chapel, right? Yeah, or, an, or, or an, an they might abbey, be I guess. To it, yeah, or like attached to like a, a family, or like a, a you know a, a series of nobles or something like that. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, I think like okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, so like they, they work for they work the for group. a noble family. Mm. Okay, um, and right. I think that they would, yeah, Gabe would kind of maybe send the message of uh would like to get in touch have questions for you or seeking your advice on imperial prime something like very very to the point but clouded in ambiguity okay and then sure. maybe like a little coded message at the end like uh to indicate that the the nature of the matter is not you know general maybe something along the lines of um hope hope that uh, the seventh is still strong with you, or something like that. You know, like the 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 virtues we're making reference to the seventh virtue. All right. You know, hope your diligence mm -hmm. is still, you know, right uh, strong. Okay, cool. All right, so you you basically will get uh, essentially assume that at some point off screen you get like an invitation because you you know you rolled and and the relationship's going to be complicated, I sure but. Did. You can still, yeah. And since it's kind of offhand, you'll get a, a reply back that basically just says mm -hmm. like. Surprised to hear from you. Uh, I'd love to meet up, and um, and then like an address uh, and a time. Yeah. Okay. And you can okay. decide when, kind of when you want that to be. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, well, while everybody is doing their own thing, I want to give Bicky an opportunity um, before we mm -hmm. before we do our break. So, Bicky, uh, everybody's making phone calls, looking at their phones, doing shit. You're in the cab. Uh, you've got some information. Uh, you're still sort of plugged into the cab's internal systems. Um, but is there anything that you want to be doing? Um, I want to get a look at this address and see potentially like what kind of neighborhood it is. Like, so I can kind of oh, maybe think yeah. of who this person was 
Where did they live? Was it a business address? Were they leaving work? Was it a residential address? Like, because that could tell me a lot about who they were, whether they were put in the Serpens outfit or whether they were Serpens. Like, because, you know, I don't know. I just feel like knowing what kind of area we're headed to might be useful. Right. So your your thought here is to follow the thread that you've created to go mm-hmm. back to wherever you assume that the body was dumped into the place. You have a you have like oh, yeah. maybe a murder scene, maybe at least a secondary, like slightly closer to the murder scene, and you want to just know mm-hmm. more about it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Um you haven't really like hung out on on Prime, right? Like this is somebody where like if if you gave if they gave you a random address, you wouldn't be like, Oh, that's a bad neighborhood. You'd have to like look into it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so let's have you make a roll. Let's say no. Uh, make a no roll with uh, with intelligence. And we'll just see the better you do, the more the more you can kind of figure out. <laughs> Ooh, okay. You're like, it's just an address. This whole yeah. place is one big city. So yeah, yeah, you don't like you could do that thing where you like search on the internet or whatever, but it's not gonna it's not gonna mm-hmm. give you any more information. Schmoogle maps. <laughs> um, well, I am connected. Uh, yeah, tell me about that. So it says, but it says I have to spend a week there. Okay. Well, check in with me in six days. Yeah, because then I can build you're- a web of contacts willing to do favors for me. Yeah. And I assume you're doing that off screen all the time, right? Like we just get mm-hmm. scenes of you kind of in the background, like talking to people on the phone and like, you know, you come back from, from like meetings and yeah, right. Like this is happening in the, in the background. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So you just, you just aren't, you haven't situated yet. You need to, yeah. you need to get a, you need to Put my air to the, ground. the environment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. All right. So you'll, you'll, you'll kind of be thinking about that, but right now, if you just go there, you're going into unknown, unknown territory. Um, but it okay. seems like your, it seems like your, your more Imperial comrades have some, some idea of kind of where, where the next thread is. So, mm-hmm. uh, before we, before we go to break, then the, the next thing we can kind of figure out what scene we want to do next, but, um, there's the meeting with the Abbot. Uh, we can meet with, uh, with Sally, uh, Lieutenant Sally Ferrero. Um, Nomi, I'm going to give you your, your crux info request. So we'll have a conversation with like someone in intelligence or with Yancey. Uh, and then as a group, you can all decide kind of what you want to do for the next thing. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Sick. Cool. All right. So we'll, uh, we'll take a, uh, we'll take a little break here. And when we come back, we will continue, uh, the mystery of the dead serpents and see what is up. Don't go anywhere. We got lots more Farverona right after this. 